in the Hindu Dharma, there is the world's most extensive tradition of honoring the divine in her feminine forms, the divine mother, all the different forms of the goddess, and all the different forms of feminine energy in nature, in the earth, in the plants, and in the flowers. There are so many deities of the feminine nature in the Hindu thought, uh, Saraswati, Lakshmi, Parvati, Durga, so many festivals, the Navaratri festival, nine days of honoring Ma Durga. There are nine forms of Durga. There are ten forms of the Mahavidya. There are many forms of Lakshmi. There are 64 forms of Yogini. There is this abundant worship of the feminine aspect of the divinity as well. And uniquely in the Hindu tradition, the divine as the mother, the feminine is also the creator, sustainer, transformer, the power behind the universe. In Hindu Dharma, we honor the mother of the universe, not just simply the mother of Jesus or not just simply a woman saying somewhere. We see the feminine as the principle from which everything comes into being. And even we have the transcendent figure of Tripura Sundari, who represents the Ananda, the divine bliss and love principle behind the universe and all the male deities, all the forms of Brahma, Vishnu, Rudra, Ishwara, Sadashiva, these are all under her power. So Hindu Dharma offers this system of worship of the divine as feminine that can be adapted and honored in all the traditions of the world. And it is the basis of yoga. We honor the yoga shakti. It is the yoga shakti or that inner feminine power that is the transformative power of consciousness, kundalini shakti, chit shakti, power of consciousness. So that aspect of the divine feminine is honored. At the same time today, we live in a world in which women are awakening. Uh, women are also awakening to their role and their need for equality, uh, the need of all human beings for social, political equality, for their place in the world, and for the honoring not simply at a spiritual level, but also in the outer social and political worlds. We're also coming into a technological era in which the old family system, people are having fewer children, so the role of the women in work is coming up. And so we need to honor that role in the society overall. In that regard, the Hindu society also needs to become more progressive in terms of its respect for and honoring of the role of the woman in society as well, although it has also taken, uh, has also developed quite a bit in this regard. But from the Hindu standpoint, uh, we must honor the feminine qualities inherent in the universe. It's not just a question of making women assertive like men or making women uh, do what men do. It's also a matter of bringing these values of nurturing, kindness, caring, concern into the whole of society. So a number of the Hindu teachers and even the women teachers have found that sometimes the feminist energy coming out of the West has a kind of a masculine force to it and doesn't fully honor the feminine powers and values. In that regard, there are many great women gurus in modern Hinduism, Sharada Devi with Ramakrishna, uh, Anandamoy Ma, and Mata Amrita Nandamai, who is traveling uh, throughout the world. In fact, there are many, you have more, I would say, women gurus in the Hindu tradition operating and traveling today than in any other tradition and sharing these overall Hindu values that represent and respect the great cosmic dualities, the Shiva Shakti forces, the male female forces, the forces of creation, transformation, all these great biological, organic, and spiritual forces 
that make up the rhythms and the fabrics of life and nature. So it's very important that there is the awakening of the feminine wisdom and also the honoring of the goddess traditions. We see some goddess traditions now coming up in the West through the pagan traditions. These traditions are alive in India and they're very colorful and very celebrated here. So it's also the role of the Hindu tradition to share and expand the woman's spirituality to also help complement the awakening of the feminine force in the society overall. And it's very important to honor the great uh, women gurus as well and to understand the role of Shakti in uh, human life. And for that, there are many women teachers in the Hindu tradition that can give us the guidance to help do that in our own lives and our, in our societies overall.